suspected killer is a significant danger to the community. King County prosecutors say the man faces several charges. This includes murder in the second degree, two counts of assault, and unlawful possession of a firearm. The 20-year-old was not in court today since he waived his appearance. We're not naming the suspect at this time since he hasn't been formally charged. A judge found probable cause in this case against the suspected gunman. Yeah, you find uh, a significant danger to the community. He's accused of killing one person and injuring two others Friday night when he opened fire inside the Westlake Light Rail Station at 3rd and Pine. There are several civilians around who ended up having to run away. Uh, in sort of a stampede. The Seattle Police Department released surveillance video of him leaving the tunnel moments after the shots were fired. Bellevue police tell us they recognized him as soon as the video went out. Apparently he was well known to the Bellevue Police Department as were some of the other people that were with him on Friday evening that were involved in the altercation that led to the shooting. Investigators arrested the 20 year old yesterday in Bellevue at his girlfriend's house. The man has a criminal history, including a felony conviction and two misdemeanors. Because of his checkered background, a judge set a high bond. Bail is set at $2 million. Detectives interviewed a 13-year-old girl who was with the suspect before the shooting. The girl verified the man's identity from his Washington State Department of License photo. We can expect charges to be filed against the man this week. One person is at home recovering from gunshot injuries. Another victim is still at a hospital. Their condition is improving from serious to satisfactory. Back to you. All right, Frank, Frankie, thank you.